What's up guys, Devil Dog Gamer here. Today we're going to be talking about the immersive tactical first person shooter that I am very excited about. This is Grey Zone Warfare. You've probably seen this game covered by some of your favorite YouTubers and good friends of mine, and I was a little late to the party on knowing this existed, so I said, you know what, I know it exists now, I'm just going to kind of wait and see, you know, where it goes. That is until I got to sit down with someone who's, you know, working on Grey Zone Warfare and talk to them a bit about the game, and they were nice enough to give me this nice brand spanking new trailer to go along with this video. So what is Grey Zone Warfare? It is a PvP VE game. That is right, you can fight players or other AI, and it is an immersive tactical first-person shooter with a big focus on realism, where you can navigate an expansive world either alone or in a squad to fight AI or human. It also has a nice little story to it. There's a mysterious event that took place on an island in Southeast Asia. The entire area was kind of put under a quarantine by the United Nations. The civilians are evacuated and three different PMC groups are tasked by their clients to go and explore the region, uncover secrets, and bring back anything of value. So yeah, that's right, looting. There is looting. There is a pretty cool looting system in this game where you actually loot things. All the weapons are very customizable, which is going to be great for all the Tarkov guys uh, because weapon customization is a big thing thanks to Escape from Tarkov now. And there's a lot of different mysteries and things to explore on this massive island. The island is 42 square kilometers long. And the guy I was talking to from Grey Zone even said one of the guys took off walking and he didn't make it to where he was going for about a half an hour. So this is a massive, massive island. You can utilize landing zones and helicopters to move through the persistent world that keeps on living when you're not playing. Now this is an interesting thing about this. So you can use landing zones and use helicopters to transport. Likely, just from that statement alone, it, you're not getting flyable helicopters, but you can call in helicopters to come pick you up. But it's a persistent world that keeps on living when you're not playing, which probably means persistent servers. That is right. The server you go into is probably, more than likely, going to be persistent. So a lot of people were comparing this to Escape from Tarkov kind of as a looter extraction shooter, but the fact that it's a persistent world means that it's probably not an extraction shooter. You'll probably just extract back to a safe house or a base. Judging by the clip we kind of got with the helicopter landing and the new trailer, it looks like you actually might have like a little FOB or a cop that you operate out of, and that is your base. Does that mean that the enemy players can raid your base and your valuable goods? Maybe, probably, who knows? But the, the fact that it's a living, breathing, persistent world that changes when you're not online, is absolutely cool to me. I love anything that's persistent like that, um, that your actions or actions of others when you're not around affect the gameplay is really cool for me. One of the things that really catches me with Grey Zone Warfare is the unique health system. It's It abandons the widespread thing of hit points. There's no hit points in it and it simulates the human body, body realistically. Every injury can negatively affect your performance and correctly identifying the issue and treating it the right way is highly critical in your operator survival. This gives me massive, massive ace medical feels which if you've never played Arma 3 and the Ace Medical System, that medical system is literally the top notch of medical systems of any shooter ever made. And the fact that this is going to be kind of similar to that and put in this game in this tactical shooter is absolutely awesome and highly ambitious because this is something that took uh, Ace Medical years to kind of perfect and get kind of right where they needed it to be. And this is really ambitious, but I freaking love it. So like Tarkov, the weapon customization is massive. Hundreds of different customizations. Everything changes the, the, the how your weapon operates, how it functions, how it handles. And the, the fact that you, you, know, you actually get this extensive weapon customization and ballistic simulation, and it also makes it a high stake environment because like Tarkov, when you die, you lose your hard-earned gear and your progress. So this is going to be a very tactical shooter, Tarkov-esque vibe to it, where there's gonna be real loss, risk versus reward, working in small unit tactics on this massive open world island. This is something that, you know, we were always disappointed that Tarkov never was going to be open world. You know, they made promises that it was gonna be this open world game, you know, all the maps would be connected, and it never came to fruition. Now I feel like we're kind of getting that open world with Grey Zone Warfare uh, that we never got from Tarkov. It'd be interesting to see, like walking around, doing these missions, how do you just encounter enemies? Do you, do you have to seek them out? 
Do you run into each other while you're kind of just patrolling through certain areas? How are those gunfights going to be? I'm really excited to see how this works. The more I watch the trailer of this, the more I feel kind of like Ghost Recon vibes. Like well, the original Ghost Recon, uh, Wildlands, Breakpoint, working in a team of four in these jungles and kind of going out and taking on enemy AI. It has that vibe to it, kind of mixed with the Tarkov loot system, risk versus reward, you know, extraction stuff. And it almost is like, I, I love all the Ghost Recon series. The new games are, they're, they're good. They're, you know, they're good. I really loved Wildlands. Breakpoint got better in the future. The original Ghost Recons were amazing. I like Tarkov for what it does. Its execution's kind of poor sometimes. Um, but uh, the mixing of those kind of two almost feels like genres. Seems like something that was almost inevitable, but I never really thought would happen. Now, after talking with the guy at Grey Zone, I definitely think they are striving for realism. Um, and I'm definitely going to help them out in any way possible with any questions, comments, concerns. How do things work? How would this be done? And if I don't know the answer to it, I damn well know somebody who does. Um, they really are trying to make this as tactical realism as they possibly can. Um, which is amazing because, you know, the fact that they'd even ask, you know, for opinions, how does this work, you know, from anyone that's been in the military or operates weapons, game developers don't do that. I've met with like EA, Ubisoft, uh, Ubisoft has, lis has listened to me one time about stuff like that before developers, but big AAA developers don't give two shits. They don't, they don't care. These guys are really trying to get this down in the most realistic manner as possible which really kind of put like and it grew a passion in my heart for this project like the fact that they they care so much that they're trying to make this as realistic as possible is is amazing i really think with just the little i know about gray zone warfare that this game is probably going to be something very special almost like a meld of ghost recon arma and escape from tarkov like three of my favorite games like mixed into one and being able to like mill sim it with my mill sim buddies. Like this is crazy to think that this is actually like a game that's coming out. Um, you know, this is in early works. Um, you know, it's not gonna, It's probably not going to be 2024. Maybe there'll be an open beta. Who knows? But this is definitely kind of a down the road game and I don't want them to rush it. I I'm so tired of people rushing games. I do not want them to rush this game. I want this to be perfect because we deserve perfect. And I think they're, they're, that's what they're trying to pull off. Gray Zone Warfare is something on its own special. Um, this might create a whole new genre of games. Who knows? But it's ambitious. It's hitting all the right, checking all the right boxes for me. And I really think this is gonna be something awesome. So I highly suggest you guys go down into my description, click the link and wishlist Gray Zone Warfare. Keep an eye on it through the wishlist. Um, because this game is going to be something amazing. But uh, uh, let me know what you guys think about Gray Zone Warfare. You think it's going to be amazing? Do you like what they're trying to do? Let me know down in the comments below. Talk to you guys later. Peace.